differential fluid and the transmission fluid today. There's an autocross event next week. Uh, I went to an autocross event last week. These videos are probably so, if you watch them in order, they're not going to be together at all. Uh, but I'm going to try to do a better job at actually documenting, you know, the build and, you know, changes I'm making to the car and stuff like that. So uh, right now, like I said, going to the garage, going to do the fluids. It shouldn't be bad at all. Uh, it should be relatively easy. Just get the car in the air. That's going to be the hardest part. Uh, I just realized I was pointing the camera at the back seat. Uh, but I did get a fucking sweet ratcheting tool. It's Harbor Freight Edition. About to get to the garage. Um, gonna put my car in the air. Definitely not gonna film that because it's hella awkward because it's such a small garage. But yeah, I will be back. Peace out. Kill us. That's what's for breakfast. Actually, I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm gonna have to hurry up and do this really quick. Uh, but got it in the garage. It's probably really hot right now, so or the uh, fluids. So I'm gonna kind of let it, I'm gonna let it sit, and while I do that, kind of clear as much room as possible. Luckily, I'm skinny, so I can get under there and put jacks. I know me, and once I get the car up on jacks, I'm gonna wanna get right into it and start unloading the uh, the diff fluid and start replacing everything. Um, so. I'm gonna take this time to actually let it let it do its thing and cool down a little bit, um, not too much, but yep. So be back in a little bit. Peace. All right, so uh, missed a pretty important piece. That is, I don't have the crush washers. Sorry, just don't want to talk because my neighbor's outside, and I don't want to be like that awkward, that awkward dude who's like filming himself. Um, so I'm going to head to the Toyota dealership, which is not too far away. Uh, I talked to a guy prior about it. Uh, he said he had them back then, and I'm pretty sure they probably have them now. Alright guys, so we have officially made it back uh, with gaskets in hand. Uh, crush washers to be specific. Um, I'm going to get started jacking up the car. I got it in here. As you can see, we're working with somewhat limited space. Luckily, I have a lot of space over here. So this is gonna be like kind of my work area where I lay out the tools and stuff. But I'm gonna get, get the uh, car up on jacks and get to work, so. All right, so I got the car all jacked up. It is hot as eternal fuck in here. Uh, I think I pretty much have enough room to do what I need to do. Uh, um, We'll see, I guess. We'll find out how uncomfortable it is or not. I could always go higher than what it's set at right now. It's pretty low, uh, pretty conservative. But I just figured I wanted to see if I can get away with this because it's quick, fast. Um, but we'll, we'll see. So I'm going to cool off for a second. It's hot as shit. Let the fan go in the garage for a minute. And then uh, I'm going to open the garage door back up while I'm working. All right, guys. So busting out the new... Uh little ratchet uh, dealio. Really shouldn't be spinning it. Spinning it at the same time I'm trying to break it, but I accidentally hit the button. Here, as long as it's a finger, yeah, I'm gonna do it with finger. Make sure I don't get all the shit all over me. Key is get it to where it's all the way done, pull it out. Let's see how much I've been fucking up my dip. It smells so bad. Uh, You obviously want to avoid getting it on the thread, so I'm just wiping it best I can away. All right. I go get a washcloth and clean this. All right, guys, so I was just figuring out uh, the crush washers. It's pretty easy to see which 
side is which uh, when you take the old one off and you put the new one on. Here, here's the best way to explain it. The smooth side is going to be what's facing, what's pressing onto uh, the surrounding area. So the smooth side is what you want to see here, not the rough side, not the edge that's going to explode uh, once you tighten it, not the crush part. I just had to uh, look up the torque specs. Uh, for these rear ones, and it's 36, 36 foot pounds, and obviously we are not uh, doing the top yet because we still have to fill it back up. So I went with the uh, Motul 300, mostly because honestly the ease of it. You don't need a pump. You can use the same fluid for the diff and the transmission. Forums, obviously, everybody talks about it. Everybody, you know, whenever anybody asks, so what fluid should I use in my diff or in my transmission? It's pretty much the answer every time. I decided why not give it a try. Okay, yeah, we're good. I'm just going to let that drip while I grab the new washer. Like we said before, the smooth side is the side that's going to face in. I'm just going to go ahead and plug it. There's still some seeping out, but whatever. Try to catch some of that goodness. And like we said, it is 36 foot pounds for these. I already have my torque wrench ready, obviously, since I did the other one. I just want to wipe it down a little bit so my wrench isn't so greasy. Bottles. Alright, so we're going to get to the transmission, which requires taking off the shields and shit. Unlike the diff, the diff is super easy, super quick. very careful because I don't have glasses and like I don't know if they when I bought this car you know I don't know if they did do the transmission fluid or not because it's in a period where it doesn't necessarily uh, like need it per se like a dealership would say you don't need it and an enthusiast would say yes you need to change the transmission fluid before you sell it I saw the trajectory of this one online, it was pretty gnarly, so. But we're there. That wasn't bad. We did okay. Oh shit. It is burping like a motherfucker. Ooh. Can't really see. But she's looking good. Kind of. She's really dirty. But uh, so the GoPro died, unfortunately. Uh, I should have definitely, uh, let me make sure it's still recording. I should have definitely charged it a whole lot before I started filming. Uh, I knew it was on partial charge, but whatever. It's all good. Um, plus, it's not really, this isn't really a tutorial. It's just more of what I'm up to um, and getting ready for uh, autocross. So right now, I just started the car, just letting it warm up do its thing even though it's hot as shit I'm sure it's yeah it's already warmed up it's like a five second cold start uh, right away I can tell with the new fluid and the transmission it it shifts a lot easier uh, I can just tell it's just gliding it's just lubricated better I think uh, just flat out than whatever the hell was in it probably like the factory 
uh, fluid. Uh, I doubt that this thing was changed by anybody considering it still had like the factory tool marks on it. You know, like where the, uh, where they marked it to where it matches up. I didn't see the importance of uh, matching it back up though. So I don't know if I was wrong in doing that, but I torqued it down to what it's supposed to be torqued at, replaced washers. So, you know, like what else is there really to do in that situation? I don't think there's anything left. Uh, so that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the oil. Uh, I gotta figure out where I'm doing that actually. Uh, get rid of the oil. Then I was gonna go wash the car because I'm going to a, like a, kind of like a dinner party tonight for a friend's birthday. Uh, it's pretty far away, so kind of stupid that I'm washing the car, but whatever. I want it to look good. It's and it looks absolutely dirty right now. I didn't show you guys the outside, but it's absolutely filthy right now. Uh, so I might take a few shots of that as the outro. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions on doing the fluid change, just let me know. Uh, it was really easy. Uh, I remember doing this on the Miata, so we're very similar uh, jobs on the Miata is just as easy as the Miata. Uh, so it was all good things. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, soon I'll have to do the review on some of the some of the mods I installed. I, I've been stalling on that, but I think I want to do a write-up just so it's easier for me to put all my points out. Uh, and I just haven't prepared anything like that. So I don't want to just have a video where I'm rambling like this video. So. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out.